Molly Pavilion here. That was Margzetta Frazier singing the national anthem who hit all 31 of her routines a year ago and she was a first team All-American on the uneven bars. As a freshman, showing that much consistency is absolutely incredible. And you can see she's multi-talented because that voice is so, <laughs> oh, so <yeah>. amazing. <laughs> all right, so like we said, uh, we're about 10 to 11 minutes thereabouts away from the first routine of the day. And we'll talk a little bit about the format of today's um, uh, inner squad meet between the blue and the gold. And as is customary, we'll start on vault and then go to uh, uneven bars and balance beam. And then lastly, the floor exercise. But uh, the format for today, there are four gymnasts per team. So four for the blue, four for the gold. There will be alternating gymnasts on the same event and you'll have four different rotations. So in other words, the first gymnast for the blue, then you'll go first gymnast for the gold, both on vault, second gymnast for the blue, second gymnast for the gold, both on vault and so forth, all the way through four gymnasts for each team. And that'll be the first rotation, then we go to uneven bars, and then, like I said, to a beam and then floor. We'll also have a couple of exhibition routines um, uh, after a couple of the rotations. After the vault rotation, we will have the exhibition on bars, a couple of gymnasts there. A little bit later on, we'll also see a couple of exhibition gymnasts on balance beam. So the march out, UCLA, uh, 2020 Bruins taking the floor. Many of these gymnasts back from year ago, obviously several uh, nice um, add-ons to this year's group that made a nice run in the NC2A meet a year ago and just a couple years removed, of course, from that national championship. The seventh banner hanging to our right from 2018. And we will go through the starting lineups as well momentarily. But we'll give you a little preview with that on vaults for the blue team, Paulina Trotz, Kendall Poston, Gracie Kramer, and Felicia Hano will be the four up on vault for the blue. Then the four up on vault for the gold, Mark Zeta Frazier, uh, Sakai Wright, Nia Dennis, Kyla Ross. And they'll alternate blue and gold in that uh, first rotation. UCLA preseason ranking of number four. The polls just came out. Preseason polls just came out a couple days ago. Oklahoma, Florida, LSU uh, figured out big big years as the top three. Utah going to be very competitive. They're preseason number five. Oh my god! Yeah, it's crazy because I just now learned the preseason rankings because I didn't know prior till right now.
the 2020 Bruins talking a little bit about themselves, where they're from, what year they are in school, and the fun fact. And how about uh, <laughs> Madison Koshin's fun fact? She likes ice cream. I mean, I mean, who doesn't, <laughs> though, you know? I like the sushi one. I can really relate to yeah. Kyla's sushi. Love for sushi. On podium, which is only the competition setting that you'll see at nationals, so that's going to be really good for them. Here's Chris Waller addressing the crowd. Now the judge is being introduced by Coach Waller. Brittany McCullough, she's a former UCLA gymnast. Obviously, our first opportunity to see this team. What do you expect so young in the season? What do you expect uh, to see today? I'm expecting, I'm actually expecting a lot of power. Um, that's what I, because they just had a big inner squad in their gym a, a few weeks ago that I wasn't able to go to. And that's all anybody could talk about was they look so powerful and so clean. Um, their execution is great. So I think from vault and floor specifically, I'm expecting to see a lot of height, a lot of power. Um, then bars and beam, you know, they, when you think of beam, you know, Kaylin Ohashi graduated, so yeah. he's going to come into that lineup. Bars, I think, I think today is going to be a great way to show how much depth they have. Here we go. Oh. Paulina Trotz, and she was a two-time German national vault champion in 16 and 17. Also a bronze medalist on floor back in 2016 in Germany. She is a 5'7 junior. Got a nice Yurchenko full, stuck the landing. Great form. 
here on Kyla Ross, the tallest Bruins at 5'7". Nice start for the blue, perhaps. We'll go to Margzetta Frazier, first one up for the gold. We have a replay here. You can see her feet are stuck, glued to the mat. Did not move one inch. Very strong gymnast. She's someone that I think she's always been very confident in anything that she does and has really owned her gymnastics in her three years here competing as a Bruin. So Margzetta Fraser, who sang the national anthem today, she'll be up, and we mentioned how she stuck all 31 of her routines last year. First team All-American on the uneven bars. Second team All-Pac-12 on that apparatus as well. At a 9.95 at the uh, Pac-12 championships for a second place finish. Very good gymnast, a sophomore from Sicklerville, New Jersey. First one up, Margzetta Fraser. Another Yurchenko full, slight hop back. A little bit piked throughout, but otherwise a very, very good vault. You see her legs were squeezed together. And we'll do our best to get you scores as quickly as possible today. Obviously a much different format than what we're used to. Obviously we're used to that. You having the six in this rather than the four. having, of course, the five highest scores count. So a little different format today in this preseason inter-squad meet. Sounds like they're not verbally saying the scores this time. They're going to show them up on the screen. Well, the second gymnast for the blue will be Kendall Poston. Again, we go four gymnasts in this meet per squad. Poston, a five-footer, junior from Foothill Ranch. And Kendall is actually going to do a different entry with her vault. She's going to enter the vault table forward. There goes Poston. See front hand spring, front pike, half out. Great landing. You see how excited she is. I can tell you somebody got a 9.8. I believe that might have been uh, Margzetta Fraser. One thing I love about Kendall, she has a very monster vault, and you don't really see that vault very often. You usually in NCAA gymnastics, you'll see the traditional Yurchenko entry. Second gymnast for the gold will be Sakai Wright. This she will be is a sophomore from uh, Paramount. This will be the first 10.0 start value vault we see. She'll be doing her Yurchenko one and a half. Another stuck vault. That was certainly a heck of a finish by Wright. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Did I mention we'll see power today? <laughs> Are we seeing power? <laughs> that was your key to the meet, right? <laughs> one thing to look for today. I love how she reinforced her arms to make sure she did not move one bit. Third gymnast for the blue will be Gracie Kramer. Five three senior from San Clemente coming up shortly. Gracie will also be doing a 10.0 start value vault. We'll see another Yurchenko one and a half from her. This is something she's been working very hard on. Any small details that she could change to make her entry better, 
so she can land with her chest up, up and down, and hopefully get the stick. Gracie Kramer did a lot of damage last year on floor. First team All-American there. One and a half, Yurchenko one and a half. She made it to her feet, little stumble back, but she managed to not put her hands down. Great fight. Unofficially at this point, we can, we, we believe that uh, Sakai Wright had a 9.9. .9. We'll get the, try to get the official scores to you. Just um, going off of those cards across the way. So we'll get the official scores when we can and pass those along, but. It looks like they're working efficiently, yeah. so. Yes. <laughs> All right, so now to the gold. Gymnast number three there, Nia Dennis. 5-1 junior out of Columbus, Ohio. And a first team All-American last year on the uneven bars. Second team All-Pac-12 on vault. Yurchenko full, stuck landing again. The Bruins are absolutely on fire. As you can see by the excitement, the energy. Gracie Kramer, 9.75 unofficially. Nia's another gymnast that has great execution. You can see her legs are squeezed together, toes pointed, feet glued to the mat. Bruins are looking good. All right, so final gymnast on vault coming up for the blue. And that would be Felicia Hano. And absolutely one of the biggest names back on this year's UCLA roster. 5-2 senior out of San Gabriel. Pac-12 vault champion coming up. Felicia Hano, second team All-American on the vault and the floor. And number six in the country last year in that vault regional qualifying score. See your Chenko one and a half from Felicia today. Got some amplitude there. Power. Yeah. <laughs> Got a slight hop forward, but you see that her chest is up. She has complete control of her landing. It's just figuring out how to harness the power that she oh, has. Really got up there nicely. Yeah. And the final gymnast of the day on vault, Kyla Ross. One of the biggest names in the entire world of gymnastics. 19 career 10.0s to her name. She rocked it as an elite and she's absolutely killing it in the NCAA world. And funny story, Kyla, she will be doing a one and a half, a Yurchenko one and a half today, but back in the day, she could only figure out how to, she could only do a full and a double. So getting the timing for this one and a half was an amazing accomplishment for her. Uh, the defending national champion on vault. Rounds out our day on vault. West Region and Pac-12 Gymnast of the Year, Kyla Ross back for her senior season, 5'7 out of Aliso Viejo and set several all-time national records a year ago. Most perfect 10s in a season, we mentioned with 19. Most consecutive meets with a perfect 10, had 10 of those. And made history by becoming the first gymnast to record two gym slams in one season, and that's, of course, earning at least two per perfect 10s on all four events. Wow. So that is that for the first rotation of the day. You like what you see? I love what I see. All right. Unofficially a 9.85 for Ross. 9.85, yeah. yeah. There's just a slight hop to the side. I knew they weren't going to take too much off for that because her chest was up. Take a quick break. Get ready for rotation two on bars.
All right, we're going to have an exhibition performance before we officially start the second rotation on bars. Nikki Shapiro will have an exhibition on the uneven bars, and then Mercedes Sanchez also uh, scheduled to have an exhibition routine. So here is Nikki Shapiro. She's a fifth year an athlete with beautiful toy point. As you can see, she did a Jaeger directly connected to a bale. Back up to the high bar. She's going to do a full pirouette to a double tuck dismount. Just one slight little step back, but a great routine for Nikki. Seemed like a quick routine. Yeah, bars is actually yeah. very, very quick. That was a fast routine. Not as quick as vault, though. Yeah. Vault, you can blink and you may miss it. So on ball, we have blue, Paulina Trats. She's got a 9.875. We're getting some official scores here. All right, so this is Mercedes Sanchez. Exhibition routine on the uneven bars before we officially start the second rotation of the day on bars. We'll go ahead and pass the final scores on vault to you right after this routine. To the blind to a straddle Jaeger. A little short on the handstand. To the bail back up to the high bar. She's going to do a giant full pirouette to a double tuck dismount. Hot forward, but she looks like she's happy with that routine. All right, so the first rotation is now officially over. Let's pass along some official scores to you for the gold, a total of 29.7. And that was led by Nia Dennis, a 9.95. Sakai Wright had a 9.9. .9. Kyla Ross, 9. Her work ethic. All right, and here goes the sophomore from Fairfax. As rotation number two is underway going to mount to the high bar and she's going to hop to a front grip to the shadow Jaeger miss the bar going to get some pointers from Chris as he lifts her up to the high bar I have no doubt she will finish this routine strong. Toe shoot, directly connected to Bale, great handstand. Beautiful handstand, she's gonna prepare for her dismount. Double layout, great finish. Yeah, nice comeback too, after the fall, so. That was the first routine for the gold. We'll go over to the blue side. That'll be Felicia Hano coming up. One thing that I learned about competing is that when there is a fall and when you do personally fall, it's important to keep the energy up and not get down on yourself and, you know, get into this little bubble and isolate yourself. It's important to keep the energy going because the meet's not over. As they say, it's not over so the fat lady sings. So you got to finish strong into the end. 
So she gets a nine and Hano, the first one up for the blue. Hit a nine, eight, seven, five on this apparatus last year against Stanford and that was her career high. So she's gonna mount to the high bar and she's actually gonna do a ray. So much height, directly connected to a bail. I personally love that release move. He's gonna do a full pirouette, directly connected to a double tuck. Slight step back, but I think overall, really great routine for Felicia. Another look at her full pirouette, directly connected to a double back. As we wait for the scores from um, for uh, Felicia Hano, we'll go back to the second routine for the gold, and that'll be Margzetta Frazier. All right, Frazier, a 9.825 on the first rotation of the day on vault in the leadoff position. She's number two here on bars. 9.8, good score for Hano. One thing to know about Marzetta, she is a bar swinger. She's going to do a shapash, directly connected to a pack salto. Get back up to the high bar, doing a shapash half. Beautiful handstand, and she's only gonna do one giant into a double layout dismount, sticking the landing. Yep. First team All-American from a year ago, leading off for the Bruins in 15 of the 16 meets uh, last year. She's in the number two spot here in this uh, exhibition meet today. Again, a meet in which each event features just four gymnasts per team instead of the normal six. Kaliani Steele coming up for the blue. First look at her today. And Steele, incoming freshman out of Colorado Springs, home of the Air Force Academy, of course, and had a heck of a club career. Third in the all-around, eighth on beam at the 2017 U.S. Classic. We've got a 995 for Marzetta. Yep. Shaposh, directly connected into a pack salto. She's gonna half your way out of that. Nice save. Beautiful handstand preparing for her dismount. Double layout dismount with a step back, but I think this is going to be really, this was really, really good for Kaliani to yeah. get her confidence up coming first, in as a freshman. Yeah, first performance in Pauly, so not bad. A little wobbly there, made up for it. We'll go to the third gymnast for the gold in a moment. That'll be Nia Dennis, who had the highest score of the day on vault. She had a 9.95. So a 9.7 is the score on that last routine by Steele. So here is Dennis. Third gymnast on bars for the gold. One thing I've noticed about Nia is that her handstands have just become more precise. As you can see, she's really hitting that vertical angle that the judges like to see. First team All-American on this apparatus, junior out of Columbus, Ohio. As she prepares for a dismount, it's gonna be a double layout. And gets the stick. Maybe a shot at a couple of titles 
in this exhibition meet today for Nia Dennis. Now the 995 on vault. This one should be a pretty good score as well. I definitely agree. She's an athlete I definitely think has truly matured coming into her third year. You can see she stepped into a leadership role. So next up, uh, Macy Taranjo for the blue, third routine. Here's someone who unfortunately has had an injury play career, but she did bounce back nicely last year with that appearance in the regional semifinals uh, at NC2A's had the 985 on floor and also was able to get a couple of bars routines in uh, out of all places in the hostile environment at Utah where she had a 9.8. Oh, Utah. Oh, oh Utah. <laughs> oh, Utah. Got a 9.9 nine yeah. for Nia on bars. Red shirt senior out of Huntsville, Texas, Macy Taranjo. I'm actually very happy she decided to come back for a fifth year, as yeah. you said, because she did have a roller coaster of injuries throughout her career. She's gonna, her major release will be the same as Felicia Hano. It'll be a ray. So when you do a toe shoe directly into a Takacha release. To the bail, back up to the high bar. Unfortunately, cast it over, but important thing, she did not come off the bar. It will be a significant deduction, but Hits a beautiful handstand to set up for her dismount. Double layout. Slight hop forward, but great finish. And Kyla Ross will anchor the uneven bars for Team Gold. Nora Flatley, the last one up on blue. I think the last two girls we're going to see on bars are extremely strong swingers. Dennis, 9.9. Uh, .9. I followed Frazier's 9.95. Right now, the bars title with the long to Mark Zeta. But we'll see if uh, Kyla Ross has anything to say about that. And of course, Nora Flatley to follow. One thing about Kyla's bar is her handstands are just impeccable. She did a shaposh, and she actually upgraded her routine, so she does a shaposh directly connected into a pack salto, another shaposh into a bail. So she added a couple more. You know, um, six perfect tens last year on uneven bars for her, and she upgraded her routine. Mm -hmm. She upgraded <laughs> her routine and added that. some significant – hard skills yeah, you know it wasn't yeah. just you know a, another kip or another pirouette she unfortunately did cast over which is very uncharacteristic of her well, that's why you have these kinds of meets right exactly get, get all the early season kinks out and um have an appearance in front of a crowd for the first time and Exactly like I mentioned before, just, it just really is a perfect way to replicate a meet. we got three weeks to get ready for uh, the first official meet between now and then, so this is uh, an opportunity today. All right, so Kyla will give it another shot. Last gymnast for Team Gold here in the second rotation. Pac-12 gymnast of the year. Several different national records last year. There's the handstand. See how she just could have a cup of coffee while holding it. Double layout dismount to finish. And also tied the school record for most career All-American honors after her junior season with 19. So presumably would break that all-time UCLA record. 
here in her uh, senior season. Last one up will be Nora Flatley for the blue. That would conclude the first half of the meet. Flatley coming up uh, for the first time today, a 4'11 sophomore out of West Des Moines, Iowa. Second team All-American on the bars from a year ago. Uh, she competed on the balance beam and the uneven bars in every single meet last year, averaging 9.876 on this particular event. At 34 of 35 a year ago. Absolutely love Nora's style of gymnastics, and you're gonna see that right here. Beautiful handstand. She's gonna do an interesting skill coming up. It's called a Higgins directly connected into her Jaeger. Toe shoe into a bale. Going to get back up to the high bar to prepare for her dismount. Nice handstand and she's going to wind up her giants. She upgraded her dismount so now she does a double lay full out. Added a full twist in there. Very difficult to do. Strong finish for Nora. And we should have a couple of exhibition routines on the balance beam coming up. Kendall Post and Nikki Shapiro before the third rotation begins. that event. All right, so this is an exhibition routine on balance beam. The one thing the girls said, they're extremely happy to have Nikki back on the team. They're happy she decided to take her fifth year and actually spoke with Gracie. She said that Nikki is the missing link to the team with her leadership qualities. She's going to do a triple series. Flick, flick, lay. Full turn. Dances out of it because she overturned a little bit. to a tuck full dismount. I think that was a great exhibition routine. Nikki Shapiro. Uh, Kendall Post then.
right, so Candle Post in our second exhibition routine on balance beam. Had a 9-9 nine -nine on vaults earlier. Gonna start with the jump sequence here. She did a beat jump into a split three quarter. And she also is gonna do a triple series. Back handspring, back handspring, layout step out. Very solid. And along with her great gymnastics, the coaches love her strong character and leadership qualities she brings to the team. Switch leap, directly connected to a back tuck. Round of one and a half dismount. That was Kendall Poston. So now we begin the third rotation in a few minutes here with Felicia Hano leading it off for the blue. Fifty-eight point five five for gold and fifty-eight point seven five. We do for those couple cast overs. All right, so here goes Felicia Hano to lead off the blue on the balance beam. She's going to set up for her series here. That's a flick lay, but she lands on two feet instead of one. A little more difficult. Very similar to the series that Peng Peng Lee competed. Switch half into a B jump. Split half jump. But she started facing sideways, so that was very interesting. And it dance it out before her dismount. Ground off one and a half, sticks the landing. I think that was a phenomenal start for the blue team on the balance beam. Hano with a 9.9 .9 and a 9.8 today. We'll see about that leadoff score. Way to get to the momentum going. Mia Dennis will be the first one up for Team Gold. Dennis, a first and a second place finish so far today. Won the vault, 9.95 and a 9.90 on bars. 
lead off for the gold momentarily. Nine point eight seven five for Hano. Tania really brings confident energy to this event. She is someone I have seen really just grow into her leadership role. Front aerial, slight wobble. She's going to try this connection again. Front aerial directly connected to a layout step out. Side aerial into her leap series is switch leap split jump. Here she's prepping for her dismount. Round off one and a half. Slight hop, but great finish. That's the junior from Columbus, Ohio for a third score of at least 9.9. Second one up for Team Blue will be Nora Flatley. Nine point eight for Dennis. So that's three good scores today. Really good scores for both uh, Hano and Dennis. Here comes Flatley. As I mentioned before, Nora is a very beautiful gymnast and her with her style of gymnastics, but on beam specifically, she is so mesmerizing with her arm and hand movements. Second team all Pac-12 on beam a year ago. Going to do two front aerials in a row. Directly connected to a back handspring swing down. Side aerial. Good control. Going to do a leg up full turn. Much more difficult than a regular full turn, and you see she connected it to her jump series. And her dismount is it by Canspring. One and a half sticks her dismount. Beautiful routine, beautiful routine from Nora. Averaged the 9.83 on this event last year. Maybe got at least that here. It's the sophomore. Wesley Moin, Iowa. Very steady all the way. So here comes Marzetta Frazier, who had the highest uneven bar score of anybody at 9.95. Marzetta is a very outgoing gymnast and confident in everything that she does. You can see that right here with her dance elements. She's gonna start with her leap, switch leap, straddle jump, quarter. Front aerial directly connected into a back tuck. Side aerial. 
into a B jump. Now she actually has a very unique dismount, something you don't see often at all. She's gonna do a front aerial into a front full. Side summy, very solid. Preparing for her dismount, side aerial to a full twist. Just a tiny hop back, but overall amazing routine. Arcadia native by way of William and Mary in her sophomore season. Helps the factor into the Bruins season. I just absolutely love her series. We'll have Madison Koshin, number three for the gold. Dallas, Texas, second team All-American on the beam, Madison Koshin. Now Madison is an athlete that will do everything in her power to be there for her team. Does a full turn as she gets ready to prepare for her series. She's gonna do a flick lay. Slight bend in the hip, but great cover. Front aerial into a split jump. Switch leap into a split jump. Here she goes as she prepares for her dismount. It's gonna be a round off one and a half. That was a senior from Dallas, Texas. One of her best routines when it mattered the most at the NC2A semifinals, 9875 on that event. So that will go to Grace Glenn to round out the blue, and then Kyla Ross will round out the gold. So Grace Glenn, 9-7, by the way, for uh, Koshin. 
Here is Gla uh, Grace Glenn, Pac-12 balance beam co-champion last year. 9.95 in the leadoff. Grace is another athlete that's been dealing with major injuries, but she's staying positive and prioritizing her needs, taking care of what she needs mentally and physically. There she just did a flick lay. Good cover from that wobble. Front aerial to a split jump. Grace on beam has the most beautiful lines I think you will see in the NCAA. As you see her knees hyperextend, just giving that extra She shows her flexibility there, preparing for her dismount. So back handspring gainer, layout full to the side. And has a twin sister on the team, yeah? And has a twin sister. Anna Glenn, both from Charlotte, North Carolina. And again, had you know, had that incredible meet in the leadoff spot at the Pac-12s last year where she was the uh, conference champion. Mm -hmm. That's rare, right? In the leadoff spot. Yeah. In the leadoff spot, because yeah. usually the leadoff spot routine is scored the lowest. Yeah. So she gets a 9.825. And that is it for the blue on beam. We are awaiting Kyla Ross to round out the third rotation. Right now, the balance beam title today belongs to Nora Flatley, 9.95. See what Kyla Ross has to say about that. Kyla Boss, as they say, an athlete with great execution on this event. She's gonna start with a flick lay. Beautiful form. She is on the taller side of gymnast. Right now she looks like she's six foot. Yeah. Definitely looks taller than five seven. Her leap series was a switch leap to a split quarter. She has a more interesting full turn there. Instead of with her leg up in front of her, she kind of puts it to the back. Extending her leg behind her as she turns around. Front aerial. Slight wobble. Prepping for her dismount. It's going to be a side aerial to a full. Great landing. Yeah, she had two perfect tens last year on balance beam. And that does it for the third rotation. Probably a Nora Flatley title today on balance beam. And that of course leaves one rotation remaining for exercise. All right, this is an exhibition on floor. Chloe Lashbrook and Sakai Wright and AC Taranjo also exhibition on floor. Chloe's coming in with some great tumbling. 
definitely a powerhouse as a freshman. She only did a double tuck for her first pass, but I have seen her train a beautiful double layout. One and a half to front layout. Fast pass, double pike. Great finish. And that was Chloe Lashbrook as an exhibitionist on floor. Sakai Wright and then Macy Taranjo to follow. Well, Sakai is an athlete that brings a big personality and so much energy to this team. You're going to see that in this floor team. Opening up with the two and a half twist. Great landing. Now that front pass is actually different. She did a front full into a front layout, step out, round off, jump. It's another intricate pass. She goes preparing for her last tumbling pass. It's going to be a double tuck. Landed short and uh, unfortunately had to put her hands down. Sakai Wright, exhibition routine on floor. Macy Taranja will follow as the third and final exhibition routine before we officially begin our fourth rotation of the day on this event. We can tell you before Taranja gets going that after three rotations today, the blue has expanded its lead to nearly a full point. They're up 59.1 to the golds, 58.275. So somewhere between eight and nine tenths of a point difference there going into the final rotation, which is a nice size lead. The blue won that beam rotation by three tenths. 29.725 to 29.425. So here is Taranjo exhibition routine. And as Darren mentioned before, she was able to contribute to the team on this event at regionals last season. Here she is with a brand new routine. Beautiful double pike to start.
Round up one and a half to a front layout. Here she goes preparing for her last tumbling pass, the double tuck. Another short landing. Had to put her hands down. But besides that, great routine. All right, so the fourth and final rotation of the day coming up shortly. For the gold, it will be Madison Koshin to start it off. Nora Flatley will lead off for the blue. And it goes Nia Dennis for the gold. Pauline, Paulina Trotz for the blue. Marzetta Fraser for the gold. Then Gracie Kramer for the blue. And then finally Kyla Ross for the gold. Felicia Hano for the blue. See, because they're out there performing, really embodying the character that they are meant to. Caitlin Ohashi. Tenants today. Internet sensation, Caitlin Ohashi.
Madison Koshin, first one on floor for the gold. Beautiful leotard, as you can see. Madison Cushion preparing for her first tumbling pass. Round off one and a half to a Rudy. to a straddle pool. There's a double pike, a little short on the landing, but great cover. Madison Koshin leading it off for the gold on floor. Nora Flatley will do the same for the blue.
They said Black Swan meets Mulan for Nora Flatley. Let's see what's in store for us for her Florentine. Front layout to a Rudy. Front handspring, front double full. Usually you would see that as a first pass, because that's very difficult. She goes for her last pass. Round off one and a half to a front layout. Beautiful finish. That was Nora Flatley leading it off for the blue. Flatley's had a very nice day. 995 on beam, 9875 on bars. Nice floor routine. What do you think about her Leo? <laughs> I think it's great. Elegant. I'll agree to that. <laughs> Nia Dennis on the floor. Second routine for Team Gold on floor. Dennis has had a spectacular day doing the all around. Nia Dennis, the majorette, up on the floor exercise. This is gonna open up with a double layout. She changed her first pass from a piked full in. I think it's a great switch. Extremely powerful. Second pass for a handspring front full layout. Last pass. For a handspring Rudy to a split jump with a crown to end it. That was Nia Dennis for Team 
Emma Gold doing the all around today. She has had a spectacular day. Got a 9.95 to win the vault. 9.9 nine on bars, 9.8 on beam. Paulina Tratz, uh, number two on blue. Paulina has a 19, 1980s themed floor routine with her music being from the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. First pass, full in. Round off one and a half to a front full for her middle pass. Last pass is going to be a double tuck. Great finish. Uh, Paulina Trotz, number two on the blue side. Got in a little Ferris Bueller's Day Off music there from 1986. <laughs> what did you think of it? I absolutely loved it. What about those facial expressions? <laughs> All right. That's something you don't see often when the girls play into their role, besides being so serious when they compete. All right, Margzetta Frazier in the number three spot for the gold on floor. Gracie Kramer to follow. And then it's Ross and Hano to conclude it. 975 unofficially for Trotz. Marzetta Frazier has a Motown themed floor routine this year. I'm gonna start off with a half in, half out for her first pass.
second pass is super interesting. She's going to do a side semi. Two back hands brings into a double tuck. Preparing for her last pass. Double pike. Great landing. That was Mark Zetta Frazier in the three spot for the gold. She also had a big day in the all around. That just brought me back to the 70s. <laughs> 995 she had earlier today on bars, 9875 on beam, 9825 on vaults. Probably came up big there on floor. Dennis had a 9825, by the way, on floor for gold. Right now leading this event is Flatley, who already has one title today, 9875 in the leadoff for the blue. Oh, Fraser just passed her. So Frazier concludes her big day with a 9.925 on floor. Big score for her in the three spot. Here's Gracie Kramer, number three for blue. Gracie has a Gotham City themed Leo, Batman on the front, the Joker on the back. First pass is going to do a front handspring to a double front to a front tuck. Second tumbling pass, round off one and a half to a front layout. Beautiful, so much height. Last pass is going to be a front handspring to a Rudy. That was Gracie Kramer in the three spot for the blue, which means one gymnast is left for both the gold and the blue today. It's Kyla Ross coming up for the gold, then Felicia Hano for the blue. I think that Joker Leo was so fitting because throughout her four years, she stayed with this creepy psycho theme with her floors. That was Kramer's second event today, previously getting a 9.75 on vault. She gets a 9.85 on floor. Very good score there. So the final routine of the day for Team Gold, Kyla Ross. Ross 
Haas also doing the all around today. Looks to finish big here on floor. Beautiful Leo to fit Kyla's routine this year. She's opening up with the whip double back for her first pass. Nails it. Second pass, round up one and a half to front layout. Kyla goes for her last pass. She's going to finish with a double pike. Finishes like Kyla Boss. And Kyla Ross finishing out the gold routines for today. And that was probably her best. I agree. Yeah. Competing on all four events which is incredibly hard to do. Kramer had a 9.85 for the blue. Felicia Hanna will be the last gymnast of the day. Right now it's Frazier's 9.925 as the top score on floor. 9.875 uh, for Ross. And that was indeed her best score of the day. Shahano has her traditional Hispanic floral leotard for her routine to match the music. <laughs> Opening up with a beautiful double layout. Amazing height. Definitely comes from the power tumbling she used to do when she was younger. Second pass, front full to a uh, Brandy. 
to a jump. Switch leap to a wolf bull for her elite series. Got to put the worm in there and swim it out. Like her nickname, Fish. Last pass will be a double pike. Unfortunately, comes short, has to put one hand down. It definitely doesn't take away from the amazing routine. Yeah, too bad for that little slip there at the yeah. end, but it was a really good routine. She is an All-American on the floor, and that is it for the day. The Blue Gold Annual Meet the Bruins Exhibition Meet here in Poly Pavilion is done as we await the final score from Hano. But uh, it looks like Frazier will win that event with a 9.925. Well, what did you like? Give me a couple of pluses for today. For today, yeah. pluses. They got out on the competition floor, yeah. number one. Um, another thing is that it kind of gives them a baseline of what they need to work on and where they at in December. They do have, you said, three weeks until the yes. first meet. So that is definitely a plus. They were able to show their fans what they have in store so they can get everybody excited. So those are the pluses I would definitely say. It was a highlight for you. Oh, just being able to be here, call the meet with you, Janae. That was. <laughs> oh, that just made my day. <laughs> that was absolutely the highlight. The feeling is yeah. mutual. Yeah. All right, the Bruins are going to speak here, then we'll come back and wrap it up. There you see Hano's score, a little slip, perhaps cost her there at the end with a 9.425. But uh, as we mentioned, Frazier did win that event, 9.925 for Team Gold. I think Gold clinched it, no? Well, Blue is up. Blue is up by about a half a point after the third rotation, so probably not enough uh, ground made up there. Although, the, uh, that last, Felicia. let's see, yeah, Ross made up four tenths there at the end. Uh, Frazier had a big one. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they did make it up. It was about a half a point difference. And if they did Let's make it up, see. Flatley's opener may have saved Team Blue. So, yeah, Blue did hold on. 117.95 to Gold's 117.6. So uh, Flatley's uh, uh, leadoff spot there for the Blue, I think, saved them. So, Blue so the Blue it. wins it, yeah, by they about three it. tenths. Yeah. 117.95 to 117.6. It's crazy how it can just go event by event, you know what I mean? It all comes down to that last routine. <laughs> you really never know. Yeah. That's what happened in 2018 with the national championship. So, again, the uh, home opener, January 12th, 3 p.m. It's a Sunday against Boise State. Make sure you're here for that. The season opener will be in Anaheim January the 4th at 6.30 p.m. Anaheim Arena against the defending national champions, Oklahoma, as well as Cal and Stanford. So, final thoughts before we say goodnight. thought it was a fun day. It was absolutely fun. I love that they... Nia is actually standing right in front of me. I love that they were able to design their own Leos and just let their creativity come to life. 
Sounds like a plan, and we'll see in a few weeks here against Boise State on January 12th. Janae, thanks so much. It was fun. Thank you. I love right. having you as a broadcast partner. All right. Sounds good. For Janae Honest, I'm Darren Preston, wishing everybody a happy holiday season. And we'll see you in 2020 right here in Poly Pavilion. This has been UCLA Gymnastics across Lean Stream and UCLABruins.com. Happy holidays, everyone.